Yes guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you one of the best competitive striker builds to use in competitive leagues, to use in competitions and tournaments. And if you want to just conquer divisions, this is the build for you. This is an 11 v 11 competitive striker build for you guys to use on FIFA 21 Pro Clubs. I'm not going to say too much. This build is sick and if you want to come and see me use it, I play with these builds on stream. I test them out. I make sure that they're good builds for you guys to use and uh, a lot of research goes into them. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Please, we're almost at 10k subscribers. 10k! So yeah, I'm going to be showing you a 90 rated center forward build for you to use in competitions, competitive leagues all sorts of 11 v 11 situations and uh, it's um, it's an incredible build it's so good it's I'll, I'll just break it down for you oh, I'll go on man but this leads perfectly onto our sponsor of today's video yes guys this video is proudly sponsored by PGS Pro Gaming Society the number one unrivaled source for all things esports with over 20,000 active pro clubs users available in over 70 different countries. Join the PGS movement today, create your own profile and play across the globe. Share your stats and see how you rank on the leaderboards and the league tables. Be sure to sign up today, get involved in some of the most exciting competitive football around. The link will be in the description below. I got you pro clubs gamers covered, let's get into this video. Bomb. As you can see on screen, the build is there. It is a 90 rated centre forward build. And have a look at those stats. Oh gosh, look at that. Disgraceful. 71 physical, 95 dribbling, 83 passing. That's decent, that's decent. 90 shooting. Yes, of course, we're striker. 93 pace. And we are 5 foot 6 and 119 pounds. Yes, this build is disgraceful. And uh, I'm hoping it helps you lot who play competitively. I know there's a lot of new seasons starting, a lot of different competitive leagues out there for you lot. So this build is for you lot and um, let's get into it. Let's quickly get into uh, the fundamentals, which is the height and the weight, of course. So key. So we are being a centre forward build. Reason we are being a centre forward build is because if we go to a striker build, as you can see, our stats drastically decrease. Like our pace goes down. Our dribbling goes down, our passing goes down, our shooting goes down. The only thing that goes up when you're a striker is your physical. That's it. That's the only thing that goes up is your physical. So EA, please sort yourselves out. Fix this because why is that a thing? What? You're a striker, but yet the centre forward build is just completely metered and it 10 times better. It doesn't make sense. Normally with a meta build, we would tend to be five for four and you lot can still change it to five for four if you want to after this video. But for competitive leagues, I feel like a bit of height is needed. A bit of strength is needed. A bit more physical is needed. And um, I'll break that down further as we get into this build. Uh, I've gone for 119 pounds to be on the heavy side of that bracket. Uh, if you go higher than 119, then all your stats decrease. So stick to 119 pounds and I'm playing left footed. I don't know about you guys, there's something about being left footed on pro clubs or on FIFA in general. It just feels so different. It feels so, it feels like a meta. I, I genuinely believe the left foot has better accuracy than the right foot. I don't know if it's a superstition, but if you lot switch it up once in a while and play for left foot, you'll realize what the hell, why, why does it feel so amazing? I don't know. That is what I play on. I'm playing left footed, so it's just my preference. You lot can play whatever you want. But without saying any more, let's actually get into this build. Let's break it down explain what to put your traits on and starting off with physical as you can see we have opted to max out the right hand side bracket reason being second wind when you're playing competitive games you lot who you play competitively will know you need stamina being a striker in a competitive league those last 15 25 minutes are crucial so crucial and if you're losing and you don't have a lot of stamina in the last 25 minutes of the game you're screwed you're absolutely buggered so make sure you max out your stamina to the full especially as the max you can get really is around 86 87 some of you might have less because you probably haven't played as many games as me so i would upgrade uh all your stamina and get a second wind second wind this second wind trait is very key because it gives you 25 percent of your stamina 
extra in the 75th minute so when it hits 75 minutes you'll get an extra 25 percent stamina which is a big boost it's a very big boost and it's a game changer really especially if you're losing or you need to make a lot of runs in the second half of the game so that is pretty much the physical traits and as you can see that gives us 82 jumping 86 stamina 64 strength ignore that 91 reactions and 69 aggression so if we move on obviously we don't have anything on defending because we're a striker moving on to dribbling and as you can see i have maxed out pretty much all traits on dribbling apart from balance speciality uh ball control speciality and flair reason being you need a lot of agility agility is one of the most key things agility is how quick and how maneuverable your guy is turning and for a striker for a winger for a cam any any forward position to be honest any position on the field agility is key to have and um as you can see we've maxed out our agility capabilities cheese mine's become a little freestyler agility capability the trilogy of the vicinity of the Oblitomy of the of the epiphany of the moving oh sorry about that waffle but as you can see just have a look at the right hand side just look at those traits on this build i have 95 agility 85 balance 91 attacking positioning 94 ball control 99 dribbling and i've gone for five star skills um I play a 5 star skills, you lot can save some skill points and remove that and that will give you 3 spare skill points you can put on something else. Personally, 5 star skills is essential, it's, qu it's a quintessential part of this build for me. I love 5 star skills, it makes me feel more agile, more fluent and um, also I normally play with flair but I feel like with a competitive build I'm going to leave this off for you guys and uh, if you want to put flair I'll show you what traits to remove to put flair on and vice versa so that there is the dribbling traits for you lot if you just those stats are ridiculous so cracked and uh, let's move on to passing so as you'll see i have upgraded passing the reason i've upgraded passing is because i had a few spare traits which i thought you know what, i'm gonna upgrade short passing because it's quite an important part of a build but as you can see we don't necessarily need to upgrade our short pass but um as, as you can see we have 93 short pass and the reason we get given so much short pass as a striker is because it is quite a fundamental part of the build. If you think about it in terms of playing those quick give and goes with your other players, with your cam, with your other striker, if you play another striker, with your wingers, you need good short passing for a striker. And uh, that is why I have upgraded it more, as you can see on screen. If you do want to use these traits to, for example, upgrade to flare, then go ahead. You can just remove these and upgrade your flare and skills or whatever traits you want to upgrade but personally i think you should keep your traits on what i've put them on as short passing is such an important trait for this build so that there is the passing traits completed for you guys moving on to shooting which is one of the main parts of this build of course you're a striker you're playing competitive leagues you need good finishing look at our finishing 99 that is the kind of level of finishing you guys need in competitive games. 99, I, I, you don't really have to say too much more. You can see it, it's there. 99 finishing, your accuracy is ridiculous. You should be putting pretty much 95% of those shots in the back of the net with this kind of build. Being a competitive striker, you need to upgrade your finishing. Finishing is the most important part of this build, truthfully and uh so that is what we've upgraded to the max and as you can see it's given us 99 finishing so for your traits and why i've put them on i've gone for five star weak foot to me personally i don't really see that much difference between five star and four star but being a competitive player you do need to opt for the five star as you're you're a competitive striker you need to have both feet as strong as possible and um from applying these traits as you can see we've got 99 finishing 84 free kick accuracy 86 heading accuracy 78 shot power which is actually decent that's not bad shot power to be fair for a small build 90 long shots yeah this gives us crazy long shots because obviously we have to upgrade long shots to get a five star weak foot uh, 95 volleys 87 penalties and a five star weak foot so this build is five star five star it has incredible shooting it has incredible passing it has incredible dribbling and very good physical moving on to the last part of this build but 
if you have not hit the like button yet, please drop a like show some support by doing so i know that you guys like these kind of videos i know that it, it's just a little bit of feedback that i appreciate and it's free so hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed already please smash the sub button turn post notifications on so you know when my next videos come out so you know when i'm streaming all that good stuff and um we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers we're 1.5k away currently so please keep pushing we're so close to 10k and yeah let's get on to the last part of this build which is la passe and as you can see we have got 95 acceleration 94 sprint speed and this is a very very adequate amount of pace for a competitive build this is a, a very pacey build and um it's more than enough pace really and truly you don't actually you you could do with around this much pace 93 92 that would be enough for you and that gives you 13 spare skill points but i feel like we've upgraded everything we need to upgrade with this build there's not much else i would have upgraded apart from passing really so why not use it to upgrade your pace and make yourself quite pacey because that's what it does clearly and uh yeah that there is pretty much the most competitive or the best build for competitive fifa pro clubs games whatever you want to call it 11 v 11 build competitive build it's up to you lot but that is the build 5 foot 6 119 pounds 71 physical 95 dribbling 83 passing 90 shooting 93 pace i don't really have much more to say it has been simmy i will see you lot in the next video peace